Hello there, greetings in Jesus' name. This is Sule Emmanuel. Welcome to Jesus Every Day, light for your daily path. This is episode 655 and our topic, the commanded atmosphere. And this is part one. Our Bible reference is from Exodus chapter 33, verse 14. Friends, several possibilities exist in God. Several possibilities exist in our God. And one of these possibilities is that we have the privilege to create the kind of atmosphere that we desire around us. And this means that to a very large extent, we are responsible for our atmosphere. And Every atmosphere commands and attracts certain possibilities. Every atmosphere creates and sustains certain experiences. As children of God, we can create and sustain a supernatural atmosphere as we yield ourselves to the Lord. There is incredible blessing, incredible power in yielding to the Lord. And one of them is that we come under the influence of a supernatural atmosphere. Friends, as you set out today, be intentional about operating under a supernatural atmosphere. Ask the Lord to take charge of your day and ask him for his grace to be sensitive to his leading and his counsel. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that you will have a day filled with the possibilities of a supernatural atmosphere in Jesus' precious name. Here is our task for today. Take some time to meditate on God's word in Mark chapter 2 verse 22. And I'd like you to pay close attention to the wisdom push of today, today's declaration and our daily Bible reading, the day meditation and the night meditation. God bless you. God keep you. God cause his face to shine on you always and may he be gracious to you. In Jesus name, have a good day. Hi there. The most beautiful and profitable decision a person can make is the decision to allow Jesus lead their lives. This decision is what we make when we open our hearts to Jesus. We don't just give him our lives. We receive his life. Maybe as you hear me right now, you have not made this beautiful decision yet. You haven't said yes to Jesus. Today is an amazing day to do this. You will not regret it. A new chapter will be opened in your life from this decision. Just say these words after me. Dear Father, I come to you today. I recognize you are a good father. Thank you for loving me in spite of everything. Today, I respond to your love. I receive your life. And I ask that you become King and Lord of my heart. From today, I will serve and live for you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Congratulations, you have made the most important decision of your life. Now, if you need help to grow in your relationship with Jesus, please send an email to the address on the screen and we will be more than happy to assist you. God bless you. Have a great day, Father.